Hey fellow world players, it's Angry Turtle, and in this video I want to talk about what's the best legendary effect for damage, and we have three leading effects, it's Junkies, Bloodied, and Anti-Armor. Of course, Junkies and Anti-Armor are the picks for full health, and in the same time, Bloodied and Anti-Armor are the picks for low health, but which one should you choose? To answer this question, I have three energy weapons with those legendary effects, like Anti-Armor Tesla Rifle, Bloody Tesla Rifle and Junkies Tesla Rifle, as well as Anti-Armor Fixer, Bloody Fixer and Junkies Fixer. Thanks to those weapons I will be able to show you what's the difference, I did some calculations as well, and maybe at the end I will show you some graphs how those calculations look like. And First I think we'll start without too much math and we we'll just started shooting those super mutants and we start with like anti-armor fixer then we go for a bloodied fixer and as you can see I'm in the nerd rage then I will have full benefits of the bloodied fixer. Okay we have some super mutants we we'll stack the adrenaline as well and yeah it's expected it's doing really well. Like this is two sometimes three shots I think after adrenaline will kick in it will be mostly two shots or maybe mostly three shots depend on the level yeah, two to three shots with anti-armor the fixer at this moment and i'm using only rank one adrenaline okay level 60 is like two shots doggo two shots level 75 almost two shots it's actually slightly short and now let's try bloody the fixer three shots but this was a level 100 let's see what we do with like level 75 that's another level 100 level 100 are quite tough they have a lot of hp and this guy is two shots okay level 16 here level 60 is two shots and damage you can see the damage numbers those are very similar to what I was getting running this anti-armor. Oh, I missed one. I can hear the footsteps. Here you are, level 75, exactly what we need. My health is a little bit too low at this one. Let's heal slightly. And let's see, one, two. He actually died. It was like first almost, then he died. Then we are doing a little tiny bit better with bloody the fixer than we are doing with anti-armor the fixer in my situation i'm not 100 percent spec for damage i have mostly rank one rank two some perks i have the net rage of course i don't have bloody mess i do have covert operative equipped and rank one of adrenaline then that's what you should know and now let's test the situation without using the sneak. At this moment, I think we have our adrenaline back up. Okay, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots now. Yeah, seven shots, level 75 with anti armor. Let's go for the bloodied. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, almost six. Now, Bloodied is slightly stronger than Anti-Armor, thanks to losing some damage bonuses. Now let's see how the situation will change with a full health. Let's go back to Anti-Armor the Fixer. Okay, we have our Adrenaline back up. Let's make sure that my health is about full. And now let's see how many shots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 12 shots if I'm not mistaken I did it mess up and now junkies will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 shots yes junkies, junkies is winning ok now we are sneaking oh there is one it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 shots level 75, 4 shots with anti-armor back to junkies Oh, that's level 60. And level 60 is 5 shots. We use more shots now on level 60 with junkies. Uh, we have ballistic weapons covered at this moment and different scenario. I will give you a summary at the end and show some graphs as well. 
Now let's see energy weapons, the similar situations. Although we'll not be able to use it with Sneak, then we'll go into Power Armor, but we'll be using Anti-Armor Tesla versus Junkies Tesla, and then we drop half and we'll be testing Anti-Armor Tesla versus Bloody Tesla. And now let's heal up, and let's see this level 75, it will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, one more, 11, 12. Okay, 12 shots with anti-armor. Is our adrenaline up? Yes, it is. And now let's see with Junkies Tesla. How many shots do we need? It's a, that's too high level. We need the same level. Okay, this is level 75. Let's heal up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, about the same, 12 shots, very similar, very similar performance. And now at low help will you see the difference between anti-armor Tesla and other Teslas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 shots with anti-armor if all of them register, but we'll try to repeat as well. Now let's swap for the bloody Tesla. See how many shots versus level 75. Which one of you is level 75? None of you. Okay, then let's say bye bye. Oh, there is one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. Nine shots with bloody Tesla. Back to anti-armor, do we have any more level 75? Or not? There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 shots as well. You can see it's really close competition, whatever we are doing. We are getting very similar results. Because it is so hard to tell by shooting enemies which weapon is actually winning, I prepared a couple graphs to illustrate the situation. First one, this represents bloodied stealth build. Okay, the blue line, this is a ballistic damage. The red lines are energy damage. And here's the comparison. You can see if we use bloodied ballistic damage, it's most of the time goes above damage wise above the anti-armor that's the anti-armor but after some point when enemies are more tanky those lines are almost identical which means if you use bloodied or anti-armor it will be about the same result but if we look at energy weapons the bloodied at first is going above anti-armor but after that it's slightly below anti-armor it's not a huge difference by the way and it can slightly change depending on your build how much damage how much bonus damage you actually have in your build and as well there is not so many energy weapons that you can use with stealth that's different thing but you can see here that anti-armor is more beneficial next that's the situation with full health stealth build Junkies versus anti-armor. And here you can see that in case of ballistic weapons, junkies will be winning versus lightly, very lightly armored enemies. But after that, anti-armor will go ahead, but still just a little bit. In case of energy weapons though, junkies is quickly losing versus anti-armor. Therefore, in full health stealth build, anti-armor seems, seems to be way better pick. Next scenario. Here we have low health, but no stealth build. And in this case, bloodied is winning, if we see at ballistic weapons, and quite significant win. It's more than we used to see in previous graph with a stealth build. Therefore, bloodied seems to be no brainer for ballistic weapon, low health build like heavy gunner. If we look at energy weapons, bloodied and anti-armor, those are almost the same. Then if you want to use energy weapon, anti-armor seems to be a very good pick because it's quite universal and result is about the same and it starts from lightly armored enemies. You don't need to wait for very tanky enemies in case of energy weapons. Next, another graph. This one represents full health 
no stealth build like full half heavy gunner. And in this case, junkies and anti-armor ballistic weapons are almost the same, there is really not too much difference, the junkies is winning slightly. In case of energy weapons, junkies is losing slightly versus anti-armor and that's a very common trend. Anti-armor is much better on energy weapons. And one last example, that's a stealth build but fully boosted, min-max with some bubble head, with some camps, everything together. And in this scenario, you can see that even if we consider ballistic weapons, anti-armor, but on very tanky targets, only on very tanky targets, will be stronger than bloodied. That's the bloodied, by the way. And bloodied is winning for soft targets, as usually, but in case of tanky targets like bosses, like Scorchby Queen, like Wendigo Colossus, anti-armor is clearly winning. And energy weapons, what you would expect, anti-armor is winning, because in case of energy weapons, anti-armor is almost always winning with every other effect. Then, to summarize, if you have any energy weapon, it's pretty safe to say, by the rule of thumbs, anti-armor will be your pick. If you have ballistic weapons, anti-armor is still a good pick, especially on the bosses, although in everyday use, Junkies or bloodied, depend if you are low health or full health build, will be a slightly better choice. Possibly if you can, if you can keep both anti-armor for bosses, junkies or bloodied for everyday use, that's probably what you should do. Now as you are able to see, me testing those weapons, energy weapons and ballistic weapons with different scenario that you can encounter depend on your build. Let me know, is it something that you expected to see? Or did you expect that some of those legendary weapon effects to clearly win over another? And what is your pick? And that's everything I had prepared for this video. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.